Assalamu alaikum students. I am Humaira Tahir, your English teacher. Today we have to resume our grammar club lesson. Previously we completed exercises of the past perfect and we did exercise D last time. Now you need to open your books at page 54. Are you ready? Okay. Look at the picture. Here is a conversation between boys and girls. The boy says, do you want to see King's Ransom with us? King, King's Ransom is a movie, name of a movie. So they are asking, uh, uh, do you want to see King's Ransom with us? The girl replies, no, I saw it last week. Now here we can use already to give uh, the uh, reply like this, if the action is already done. We can use already with the past perfect to say that something happened before we expected or wanted it to happen. We put already after had. Tina didn't come to the movie with us. She had already seen it. Understand? Because Tina had already seen that movie last week, so she didn't want to come with the boys. Now look at the exercise. Complete these sentences using already with the past perfect. Uh, answer, the verbs are given in the yellow box and you have to make the past perfect using already. Number one, we were late for the match when we got to the stadium. It had already started. Number two, I wanted to talk to Maria after school, but I couldn't find her. She had already gone home. Nabiha is a fast reader. She borrowed a book from me yesterday and when I called her this morning, she had already finished it. She had already finished it. Tina didn't want any pizza. She had already eaten her lunch. Number five, I wanted to be the first person at the party, but when I got there, Leon had already arrived. Leon had already arrived. Done? Now come to exercise number five, F. Now here the jumble words are given and you have to rearrange them to make them meaningful sentences. Number one, the match had already started. Number two, our train had already left. Number three, Mike had already gone to bed. Number four, the library had already closed. Now you see all these actions had been already had been done already. So we are using had plus already with past perfect. Okay, now come to the next page. Sometimes we use just to show the actions in the past perfect. Look at the conversation between the boys and the girls. Do you have the new sister's CD? No, I'm sorry, that girl bought the last one. No, uh, the a girl has bought the, uh, uh, the CD and no, no more CDs available. So do you have the new sister's CD? The uh, girl is asking and the shopkeeper is replying that I'm sorry, the girl that girl bought the last one. Now, just means a short time before. We use it to say the first action happened a short time before the second action and we put just after had. When I went to the music shop to buy the new sister CD, they had just sold the last one. They had just sold the last one. Means that the action has happened in a short time before the second action. Now look at exercise G. Complete these sentences using just. The shop closed at 6. I got to the shop at 6.02. When I got to the shop, it had just closed because very short time is in between 6 and 6.02. Number two, 
Our bus left at 8.30. We got to the bus station at 8.34. When we got to the bus station, our bus had just left. Number three, lesson started at 9. Jamie got to the school at 9.03. When Jamie got to the school, lessons had just started. The lesson had just started. Number four, I woke up uh, at 7. The phone rang at 7.02. When the phone rang, I had just woken up. Understand? No. We can use had not with past participle to say the actions that didn't happen before another action in the past. Often this explains why second thing happened. For example, I got sunburned at the beach yesterday. I hadn't put on a uh, sunscreen. Now, like this, you have to complete the exercise using had not and past perfect. Number one, I couldn't buy anything. I couldn't buy anything at the shop. I hadn't taken any money with me. Number two, I was very hungry at 10 o'clock. This morning, I hadn't eaten any breakfast. Number three, Mrs. Hussain got angry with Atif. This morning, he hadn't done his homework. Number four, our dog ran away yesterday. Someone hadn't closed the gate. Rishan couldn't start this, uh, his new computer. He hadn't read the instructions. Understand? Now come to the next review exercise. Now in the first exercise, you have to tell that which action happened first beside the action that happened second. Look at number one. I couldn't get into the house. I had lost my key. Now, which action happened first? The key was lost first. And because of the lost key, uh, I couldn't get into the house. So, uh, uh, I couldn't get into the house is the action number two. And I lost my key is ac action one number one. Number two. I looked for Matt, but he had gone home. Matt went home. I looked for Matt. Which action took place first? Yes. Matt went home first, and I looked for Matt second. I looked for Matt second. Number three. When Tanya came to school, lessons had already started. Tanya, Tanya came to school, lessons started. Which action took place first? Yes, lessons started first. And Tanya came to school later. Number four. Dean brought home a kitten. He had found it in the park. Dean found a kitten in the park. Dean brought the kitten home. Which action took place first? Yes, Dean found a kitten in the park. And uh, the second action is Dean brought the kitten home. Number two. Understand? Now come to the next B part. Complete these sentences using had or had not. Number one, I got wet during the storm. I was in the park and I hadn't taken an umbrella with me. Number two, when I got home from school, mother had baked some cakes. They were delicious. Mother had baked some cakes. They were delicious. Number three, Amy couldn't go swimming at the pool. She hadn't taken her swimming costume with her. Number four, lots of students came to school late this morning. The bus had broken down. The bus had broken down. They wasn't, uh, number five, they wasn't uh, ready to re his, read his story to the class. He hadn't finished it. He hadn't finished it. Number C, complete these sentences using just with the past perfect. Sophie went out at 6.50. I called her at 7. When I called Sophie, she had just gone out. Number two. Our, number two is, uh, our train left at 9.09. .09. We got to the station at 9.10. When we got to the station, our train had just left. The concert finished at 9.30. 
At 9.35, John called me from the concert hall. When John called me from the concert hall, it had just finished. I woke up at 7.30. Mother came into my room at 7.35. When mother came into my room, I had just woken up. Understand? Now, up till now, we have completed all the exercises of unit number eight. And now you have to prepare yourself for the reinforcement test. And uh, inshallah, next time I send you a worksheet and uh, it will be a reinforcement of this chapter, past perfect. Understand? Okay. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.